Hi, and welcome to another video of Your Path Studio X. Uh, so in this video, we are going to cover the third challenge of Reboot Your Skill program. Uh, so this is a little complex and lengthy uh, challenge, which will cover email automation, Excel automation, um, as well as UI automation. So these are the three areas that this challenge is going to cover. So as you can see, if you scroll down, so you have all these steps that are required to be performed in this challenge. So one is you have to download the email attachments. Uh, so to achieve this challenge, we are going to use a website, uh, which is this, which is admit SGI path website. So this is where we are. The part one is where we are going to get the test data or the data that we are going to use for the automation. Part two is what we will be using in our automation. So we will be looking at uh, all of these in the detail, right? So once we download the multiple attachments from the email, uh, those emails will have the Excel files. Now these Excel files now has to be read and uh, those data from the Excel file is what we have to put in the part to UI part. So we'll be entering the data from Excel file here, click on this button and the one client code will be coming. We'll be reading that client code and putting it back in the Excel file. Once that is done, we have to save that Excel file as PDF. So that's the manipulation we are going to do with the Excel file and save it in the PDF format, right? Uh, we'll be also looking at what could be the potential uh, logics that we have to create so that the automation does not, uh, you know, go into the exceptions or the error mode. Then once we, uh, we complete our automation, we will be looking at how to publish your project to the orchestrator so that you can use it using the assistant. So this is what the assistant, the path assistant looks like. So all your projects, uh, which you publish to the orchestrator can be, uh, you know, accessed directly from here. You can simply click on the run button and run it directly from here instead of going to the Path Studio X, opening that project and doing all of these things, right? So we'll be looking at uh, these steps in the challenge. So this video will have four parts. So this is the first part where we will be covering the download multiple email attachment part, right? So to get those emails in the attachment, we have to go to this website and let me go to part one and get the files in my email box. So then I'll send my to robot and send. So we'll be receiving the Excel files in the mailbox and we have to read uh, those mails and download the attachments in a folder. So this is what a task for this particular video is. So for that, let me also create the project first. I'll click on the new blank task. And let's say, reboot your skill your skill exercise number three right. and press create button uh, let's also look at your mailbox and you can see you have received four emails right and the sender is no reply at the rate yourparts.com it contains Excel file with XLSX extension and the file name are different in all of these emails, right? Invoice one, two, three, four, correct? So we have to read the email from UiPath Acme and download these attachments. So if we go back to UiPath Studio X, we have the blank project ready. So let's start with uh, reading the mailbox. So we have to connect with the Outlook. For that, we'll be using a resource called Use Outlook. Use a desktop Outlook app. I'll drag it into the designer panel. And the default account is this for my account. And this account is referenced as Outlook to be used in the automation further, right? Now, once I have connected the automation with the Outlook app, 
next thing i want to do is i want to read the emails right so if you go to the mail section we have to use the activity called as for each email because now we have to iterate through each email in your mailbox right so in the inbox folder i want to iterate through each email check whether it is coming from no reply at the redwebath.com if yes i have to download the attachment right so we need to iterate through each email now current email represents uh, for uh, each iteration which email i uh, the iteration is on then in emails from this is where we have to mention the folder where we have to iterate so if you go to outlook you can see all the folders are there right so there is no specific uh, folder but simply inbox is what i want to read so outlook and inbox that's all we have to choose done so from the inbox i iterate through each email and for that particular email in the current iteration we will be applying some filters right now you can see right now we are reading only top 100 emails again um, you can choose how many emails you want to read or there is no limit on the number or anything you want to choose so 100 is the default value right uh, if you press under email it will only read the emails which are not read yet right? so these are the options which are available with attachments only if you only want to read emails which contains attachment which is also true in our case right so we can also check this thing now if you go to the additional filters you can say from and it is equals to so the sender is what we are going to mention now so the current email the current email in the iteration should be coming from we will be using this right so we want emails which are coming from this sender only then press save additional filter is we only want to retrieve today's email we do not want to retrieve uh, email which have came yesterday or day before today right so i'll press add say date newer than today so it will only read the emails which we received today and which are received from this particular sender and which contains attachment right now this is how we are iterating through each email in the inbox folder once we are done with getting those emails now we want to save the attachments from that particular mail right so inside the use desktop outlook app we have to put for each email and inside for each email we have to use the save email attachment activity so now you can see the scoping here when you are on the current email check if it satisfies those filter criteria if yes then save the attachment from the email if no go to the next email and check right and do this iteration for all the 100 emails so this is what this the whole loop is doing for you right so for each email perform this activity if it is if it satisfies the criteria which we mentioned so right so from this current email right we want to save the attachment to the folder now we have to mention to which folder we want to save so we simply go to browse and uh, in the desktop i have created a folder reboot your skill exercise 2 and excel invoices is where we are going to save all the attachments and i press okay we can say overwrite existing so if they are uh, already files with the same name which were downloaded the previous day or they were already existing because of the previous runs so it will overwrite it now this is if you want to filter uh, the file that you are downloading based on the extensions for example if you are receiving pdf file but you only want 
uh, Excel files to be downloaded, right? So you can actually mention it here, which extension file you want to save, right? So, but this is not in our case because all the files that we are going to receive are ExcelFX. So we can skip this part. So this is the first part of the video where we are downloading the attachments, right? We will be reading and the mailbox and downloading them. So let's check our folder, which is this. And this is currently empty. And let's run this automation and we will see if we get the attachments in the folder saved. The last run was successful. And we did not receive. But if I remove the date filter here, and then I run this. We are actually getting the files now. Okay, so this is all about how to save the email attachments from the email uh, based on the filters. And in the next video, we will be covering the other part, which is how to read the how to read the data from the Excel file and put it in the UI automation and also how to read the values from the UI uh, pages. So stay tuned for the next video and thank you so much for watching.